On this Earth Day, we focus our attention on a species of deer not only native to the Florida Keys, it's the only place they live. If you have never seen them, key deer are about as big as a medium-sized dog, and they are endangered. According to the National Wildlife Federation, less than a thousand of them remain. Next, weather meteorologist Dave Warren explores the threat to their existence and what is being done to protect them. I'm Dave Warren. I'm on Big Pine Key in Pine Rockland. Now this area used to be freshwater pine, but now it's transitioning to saltwater and you're seeing more mangroves. It's not just happening here. It's pretty much everywhere across this entire area. That's having a big impact on the animal species here, specifically the key deer. We traveled to the largest island in the Lower Keys, Big Pine Key. What makes it unique is this. That's a key deer. They're only two to three feet tall. They've called Big Pine Key home for thousands of years. The problem, that home is shrinking. Sea level rise is slowly encroaching and increasingly quickly encroaching on the habitat, making it smaller and particularly reducing the availability of fresh water. You know, hundreds of years ago, this was all pine forest. Chris Berg is the field program director at the Nature Conservancy. We met him here. From the ground, you can see the consequences of sea level rise. From the air, you see it's happening all over the island. This used to look like this. This is a pine rockland. We've got palms and pines, a lot of wildflowers here. So the bugs really love it here, but especially our key deer. That's wildlife biologist Christina Wilson. So here in the Florida Keys, the key deer is that umbrella species that is helping all of these other animals that need this habitat as well. And key deer play a huge role in the Florida Keys. They're always, always eating something consistently. There's beautiful sea grapes out here, plums. There's things that I wanna eat, but these key deer get to them before us, but they're spreading these seeds throughout you know, the islands here, and they are really great swimmers. So. But this habitat and those seedlings need fresh water to grow, something that has become harder to find as the seas squeeze the habitat farther inland, whether it's the slow rise of sea level due to climate change or more powerful storms pushing salt water farther inland. If we can't stop sea level rise, the sea will continue to shrink the habitat. It'll move in, it'll turn the fresh water into salt water, and the deer won't have uh, that vital element. Turning Pine Rockland to this, leaving little left for the deer to eat or drink. Basically, they won't have habitat, they'll become extinct. Key Deer Boulevard, it's one of the main roads on Big Pine Key. Working to slow or even stop that process is Kevin Kalis. He's the Coastal Program Coordinator for U.S. Fish and Wildlife. This is Key Deer Boulevard. It runs right down the middle of Big Pine Key. What happened is, over time, we would have coastal storms that would push salt water into the marsh and wouldn't be able to get out. That's a problem being solved by the work here. Once we have this restoration fully functioning where we can manage the water, these are culverts that will allow water to escape, but we can also hold water. Covering this area for the deer is one step. The other is controlled burns. This is something that we actually did on purpose. We tried it, we, we call them prescribed burns. Fires were once a natural process here in the Keys. Now left unchecked, this area has become too overgrown. Two years after the fire, the habitat is open, making easy access to their food now growing here. It's things like this that we need to do, that the refuge needs to do to, to make space for the deer, to make habitat for the deer as seas are rising and taking away habitat on the fringes of the Rocklands. Open spaces like this that were overgrown now turned into new habitat. It's what the deer need. It's as everything shrinks, pushing them and the residents of Big Pine Key closer together. Those that live here do what they can to protect the deer today, but according to Chris Berg, they will have to do a lot more in the future. The real root cause of this problem is people contributing to climate change. We all have a role to play in understanding our contributions and governments at every level, from the United Nations right down to in the city of Key West. Doing what they can to protect the deer and preserve what habitat is left for tomorrow. It's a, you know, a losing battle, but one that we need to continue to fight. Because if that fight is lost, it may not be the end for the deer here, but it would mean the end for the key deer. If they decide to move them to the mainland, then they're going to be breeding with the white-tailed deer and they'll end up not being key deer again.
And we want these yeah. key deer to survive because they have a yeah. real benefit to our environment. Yeah, they eat, they spread the seeds. They're just a part of the whole <laughs> ecosystem there. And uh, uh, they do a lot, uh, but that's shrinking. So if they're gone, then the, the, wild, the, the biologist said that uh, pretty much everything uh, would be done. Yeah, and it's not just uh, obviously what you pointed out, but it's also development, too, that's also shrinking their habitat. Right, right? they're doing what they can because that water would be trapped and now letting that water drain. Yeah. So everyone's living together. There's signs everywhere, uh, but you really don't get the uh, impression of how, how big this problem is uh, because it's over the entire island. You get there and you just see uh, everything that used to be fresh water is, is gone. Beautiful and peaceful animals. I hope yeah, they make they it. Yeah. Very good. Thank yeah. you, Dave. Thanks, really Dave. interesting.